Taoiseach, we really have to ask what was the point of the last two weeks? After nearly a decade of negotiations, the legal documents were finally published. That was just two weeks ago. You said that you wanted the documents to be scrutinised and you indicated that you were open to change, changes being made. But it's quite clear now that that was actually a charade. We didn't know how much of a sham this whole process was until we heard from Mr Menton yesterday when he made it absolutely clear in reply to a question that I asked that it was five years since any serious attempt had been made, made to engage with him on the possibility of, only, of buying the site. Despite repeated claims by you and the Minister for Health over recent weeks, we now know that there was no meaningful engagement at all. And that's Mr Menton's words, it's not mine. In addition to that, in recent days, we've heard a succession of people who support this deal agree that the phrase clinically appropriate is open to misinterpretation and a cause of public concern. Clearly, it was amb ambiguous. Representatives from Hollis Street, St Vincent's and indeed the Health Minister himself all said they would have no problem including a definition of the term in the legal documents. But that was yesterday. What do we get today then instead? A note that the Cabinet has now agreed that it knows what the term means. So a binding legal definition is not required, we're told. What's the message then to the women of Ireland? Is it calm down? You don't need legal guarantees. The word of the cabinet will suffice, or trust us. Is that what you're saying? You can forgive the women of Ireland, Taoiseach, if they're not reassured 